Scott Fromey, and welcome to the Backwoodsman's Institute. Well, this evening, I'm actually cooking up a mess of squirrel for supper. And I want to share with you all one of the ways in which I go about do that. Now, in previous videos I've done where I've cleaned a squirrel or cleaned a rabbit and showed how to maybe fry it or cook it. This is another way in which you can prepare your wild game or small game, particularly rabbit or squirrel. Tonight, I'm doing squirrel. What I did was I came home from lunch and I put the squirrel in the crock pot and turned it on low and let it cook all afternoon in the crock pot. And I seasoned it up, you know, I put different garlic, sea salt, or I put, put some, on this one I used poultry season and, and garlic, sea salt, and pepper and I seasoned it up and let it cook. What I was trying to accomplish was get it cooked to the point where I can pull it off the bone with little effort. You gotta be very careful, especially with cooking it in the crock pot. If you leave it in there too long, you're gonna to come to the crock pot, open the lid up, and it's all the meat's gonna be at the bottom of the, of the pot along with the bones in it. It's just gonna be one big mess. So, Watch it very carefully. That would be my advice to you is keep an eye on it. I put it on low. This evening when I come home from work, I checked it. It was cooked all the way through, but it wasn't done enough where the, the meat just kind of pulled off the bone easily. Uh, at that point, it's a good point to take out maybe some choice pieces if you're wanting to fry it. And then go ahead and fry it that way. And You don't have to worry about frying it all the way done. You're just frying it. A little bit to get it crisp and to heat it all the way through in the middle and you'll find out that your squirrel or rabbit is going to be a lot tender that way. So what I'm doing with the rest of it, I got the rest of the squirrel, front legs and the back and everything else in there and I'm cooking it down to the point where I can peel it off the bone. So let's go ahead and then take a look at it see how it looks. Okay, it's a little warm yet, but you can go ahead and see the bones just kind of pull out of there, so, and they come off pretty easy, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take this meat out of here, let it cool enough for me to handle it, and then I'm going to pull off the, all the meat off the bones and get back with you. Alright, here's what I ended up with, a big plate of deboned squirrel meat. Okay, once you get it to this point, you can pretty well do anything you can think of or any type of recipe that you can come up with. You know, you just let the chef in you use its own imagination. I mean, you can make, instead of chicken and noodle soup, you can have squirrel and noodle soup, you can have squirrel and gravy, you can have, you can eat it just plain, you wouldn't even have to debone it if you just wanted to eat the pieces. Um, you can make... I dug out a, a little gravy mix here out of the pantry. Like I said, you come home from work and you want a quick, easy meal, you can, might be able to make up some type of little squirrel stew for supper. Put some canned vegetables in it, heat it up, and you're good to go. Hardly no effort at all. Cooking wild game does not have to be a long, drawn-out affair. It's Like I said, you can be smart about it and make lots of different varieties of meals with the same type of meat. So that's what I like about squirrel and, and, and rabbit especially is, is anything you can possibly use, you can kind of use it as a, a, a chicken substitute actually in a lot of your recipes. So that's one way of, of using your wild game. For instance, the other, the other night, all I did was I put it in the skillet, heated it back up again, and poured barbecue sauce on it and had squirrel barbecue. Like I said, it's whatever you could possibly think of. It doesn't have to be, you know, that glamorous of a meal. It's just something quick and easy. And try different things. You never know. Tonight, I found a, a can of cream of mushroom soup. So I'm going to use that to make kind of like a gravy with uh, squirrel meat in it. Now, obviously, we're not going to eat this whole big plate 
squirrel meat tonight at one sitting. What I'll do is take what I need for, for the meal tonight and put the rest in the refrigerator and tomorrow make something totally different with it. So it's a way of kind of using your wild game but having a little bit of variety and it's already pre-cooked so you know a lot of evenings you come home from work or you're busy and you just want need a quick meal just go ahead and cook you up something quick and easy with it. So let's get started with what I'm about to do. I'm in the mood for a little bit of onion so I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get about a half an onion in there and saute it a little bit get it kind of softened up a little butter in there, add a little butter for flavor butter never hurts Okay, the onions look like they're getting soft and translucent. So I'd say we can go ahead and add a cream of mushroom soup. I'll go ahead and put the squirrel meat in last, just just because. If you put it in there early on and you want to um, stir it around a little bit, it tends to shred up a little bit. And I want to keep it a little bit more of a chunk. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. So all I want to do is add some of that broth that I used out of the crock pot. Anything, milk or anything in there. Like I said, it's, it's experiment with different stuff, and you never know. You come up with some something you really like, and you know, every once in a while you come up with a flop or two. Every once in a while, so that don't hurt either. Okay. Thicken up a little bit. Now I'm going to add the squirrel meat. Let's see how much we want to have for a night. See what that looks like in there. Turn the heat down a little bit. work for supper tonight. Surprisingly enough, it's pretty daggone good. Not too bad for just throwing a bunch of stuff together for a quick easy meal. What I got here is a baked potato. I used a squirrel with a uh, mushroom, cream of mushroom gravy and some heated up some canned vegetables. Didn't take very long at all and I got pretty well a eh, full course meal I think. And I already got my mind going for tomorrow night's supper. Tomorrow night's supper I'm going to take the squirrel and use stew gravy mix I got here out of the pantry and the leftover vegetables, put that all together. 
That sounds good too. So like I said, the point I'm trying to make here tonight is cooking wild game doesn't have to be a long drawn out affair. You can make a lot of quick, easy, simple meals using your wild game. And really, you can't really tell it's wild game. Mm. Catch you out in the woods. I think I hear the girls coming. I made a real test to see how it tastes. Good. I did that again.